What's going on? It's Pete with Backdraft Bikes, and let's get on a meteor, shall we? Pete with Backdraft Bikes, we're back again, and we're taking a look at the 2023 Royal Enfield Meteor 350. This is a single cylinder 349cc bike with just over 20 horsepower. So this is a no frills cruiser, but maybe, just maybe, you might like to ride it. I'm going to give it a test drive. This is going to be a group ride, so nothing crazy, but it'll give us a good feel for how this bike uh, handles and its performance. So again, it is a no frills bike. You've got a manual clutch. It's air liquid cooled, uh, excuse me, air oil cooled, single cylinder, uh, a little bit forward control. So you've got your, your cruiser ability, but it does have a pillion seat. So you can take a passenger with you. Single sided brakes, both front and back. And uh, I like the blacked out exhaust. It's kind of a nice little touch as well. Again, not much going on with this bike. It is very classic looking. It's got a nice wide tank on it. And uh, of course it has the dual gauge with the multifunction display on the side. And then it has this other little clock thing that Royal Enfield makes that interfaces with Google for directions. So let's check it out, shall we? Bye grandpa. Yeah. Started. Yeah. Here we go. All right, so. What have we got going on today? Well, this is the Meteor 350 23 edition from Royal Enfield. And this is their cruiser bike, if you will, in the 350 size. So just as a refresher, right at this moment, they're making single and twins. And 350 and 650 are really the two sizes that they make. This is their Super Meteor is actually coming out and that's supposedly supposed to have one of these with like a 650, but I, I really don't know the all the details. They wouldn't really tell me much either. Uh, but anyways, what do we got going on here? Well, we've got the cruiser style. It's uh, a little bit of a laid back riding position. The uh, controls are a little forward. Actually, they're a lot forward. Um, which again gives you that cruiser mentality the shifter is a rocker so it takes a second to get used to that if you're used to always using your toe the seat definitely feels like a cruiser as well it's got that scoop feeling so you're kind of sitting back into it not much adjustment can take place you're kind of stuck where you sit um, with the 350 the classic 350 chassis and motor combo they're they're good they they're not they don't have a lot of power uh, I think this is just over 20 horsepower but they for what they are and the price point for a brand new motorcycle that Royal Enfield has that kind of is is what you get my general impression of Royal Enfield is they're cool bikes they're not your average bike that you're gonna see everyone driving they're not a Honda Rebel they're not a Harley but they're they're an old school bike with newer reliable technology, uh, but they're not fast. They're definitely not fast. They don't have dynamite braking. Uh, it's just it's just a, a platform that works and they use. And that's what you get. So the these bikes are under six grand, completely decked out. The um, Hunter 350 is like $39.99, so $4,000. Uh, again, for a brand new motorcycle with a factory warranty that's <laughs> kind of unheard of nowadays. Um, the suspension on this bike is not terrible. It's It rides nice. It's got a, the power band is very usable. It's kind of low geared in my opinion, but I don't have a tachometer to tell you that. And the uh, gauge on this only gives you 
uh, odometer and trip A and B. Um, it does have a fuel gauge, which is nice. Even some of the cheaper bikes don't even have those. So this is nice that, to be able to have that. Now, I don't know the details to what the new Super Meteors are gonna be like, but if you're considering buying one of these because you want a low cost cruiser, understand that Royal Enfield's been around, they're actually the oldest continuous production motorcycle manufacturer out there. Uh, they beat out everybody because they've never stopped making motorcycles. Uh, of course, they're made in India and imported. Uh, they used to be made in the UK and uh, they were they were purchased I think sometime in the 70s uh, but currently they are the largest motorcycle manufacturer out there they produce more motorcycles than anybody in the world which is wild when you think about it so uh, they must be doing something right because if they weren't people wouldn't buy their bikes now and to my Indian fan base uh, this is a staple for you guys you guys use these but in the United States here there really isn't a lot of dealers and the brand is not as well known uh, in the States just because Harley kind of dominates everything uh, when it comes to motorcycles and if you're gonna ask me if I'm a Harley fan I'll tell you right now I am NOT because I think they're overpriced for what you're getting yeah they're reliable if you take care of them but there's also a lot of uh, a lot of downsides to having a Harley. The, the one thing that makes them good is there's a dealership like on every corner in the States. So it makes it easy to, to get service if you need it, which you will. <laughs> um, again, just getting back to a little bit more specifics on this bike, the power on this bike, again, is nothing to write home about, but it's adequate. Uh, the, the bike has a decent power band if you will it seems on the bikes that i've ridden with the um on the bikes that i've ridden with the tachometers it seems like the 350s come alive at about 4,000, and then they kind of simmer down at red line ish uh they're just there isn't a lot of power again because it's just a it's just a bike that is designed to be a bike that you can get out and move around in but don't have to spend a lot of money on the other uh, trade-off to that too with the smaller engine size is fuel economy so these average between 70 and 80 miles a gallon which is awesome all right this guy's an awful rider two bikes up does not get the concept of riding in a group and I apologize for the group ride Royal Enfield's awesome they let us demo these bikes but you're with other people and unfortunately that's a drawback you can't go out and beat on something <laughs> but I will say that um, again just there's a couple corners up here when we get near the ocean you'll see we'll be able to get a, a, a decent gauge on how these bikes handle I know just driving like this right now the bike is decent, uh, maneuverable, flickable, uh, and the rake angle of the forks and the laid back driving position uh, lend a comfort because you're, you're not crunched over anything. You're kind of in the lean back position. The brakes aren't the greatest on this but all of these 350s are exactly the same. This is full throttle. <laughs> so just a little putt-putt. Not super fast, but decent and fun to ride. Again, kind of know what you're getting into with these. Price point's great. Here's a nice corner I like to sweep into. 
And again, I mean, it, it doesn't feel like it's washing out, but there's just, what you see is what you get. I'd take one of these over a Honda Rebel any day, or, you know, an entry level Japanese bike, not not because they're Japanese, but because I like the cool factor of <laughs> these bikes. They're just, they're cool. You don't see them every day, and they're, they're fun looking. They've got nostalgia. The bike in front of me is a very similar platform. Uh, it's the classic 350. It's a little different. There's, there's a little things here and there that are different on it, especially where your foot position is and stuff like that. But the um, 350 motor is just, it's pretty smooth for being a single cylinder. You don't get the, I'm riding a chainsaw feeling. Uh, so they've balanced it out well and there's good isolation. I don't know how this bike would do on the highway. The gearing on this is a little bit lower than the other ones I've ridden. So you probably could cruise at highway speed, no problem, but you're not gonna have much passing power. And as far as comfort goes, I'm six foot four and uh, I'm not squished or crunched, so to speak, but it's definitely not, I'm not, I'm definitely not sprawled out. So I think probably ideal rider height would be somewhere in the six two range. Um, anybody above me is gonna not feel it. They're not gonna like it. So we're just rolling on the throttle as we go around the corner. Not bad. Um, if I think if you were in the five foot range, like five two, you could still ride this bike no problem. I don't, I don't see an issue with that at all. It's very, very low to the ground. And uh, the seat is scooped out so you, your inseam isn't gonna uh, bother you that much. So again, um, riding this bike, cruising it around a few times now I, I do like it it's a nice bike it's got a it's a nice platform there's just not a lot of power to it that'd be my only complaint but at the same time they're not advertising that this has a lot of power you know it's making just over 20 horsepower so it's it is a package that you're you're, you're aware of that you're getting into um, as far as the affordability goes it's a 10 um, it's cheap and it's new so it it works The ability to jump on a bike and ride like this bike is very, very easy. There's not any technology that you have to get to know. There's nothing that's unfamiliar about it. It's a motorcycle. Uh, it, just, it reminds me of you know some of the first bikes I owned that were just easy. You get on it, you can go, ready to go, ready to rock, uh, not complicated. I think comparing this to like my BMW GS 1250 Adventure. I mean, it's a completely different bike, right? But there's such a steep learning curve with the technology. Uh, you got to know what buttons do what, how to navigate, everything's on a screen. So I think we've lost some of the touch that we get when we ride a motorcycle like this, that's a motorcycle and it's connected to the ground. So really good bike especially if you're just getting into the sport this is a this is a bike that I would totally recommend would I go with this model uh, the Meteor 350 probably not I'd probably go for the classic 350 just because I liked the peg position a little bit better and the seat was a little bit more comfortable but it's decent this is nice and I, I don't really have any major complaints because again you know what you're getting when you get this there's no surprises you're not gonna get into trouble with uh, pulling too much throttle I mean that's full throttle it just it doesn't it's not gonna get you in trouble so anyways uh, I th hope you've enjoyed this video I certainly have I appreciate everything that you do watching the channels leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts uh, if you own one of these bikes let me know your thoughts on your ownership and have you moved on or do you still have it what are you doing with it as always Ride safe.